3rd of September, 1925, the dirigible Shenandoah, whose innovative design and skilled crew had revolutionized the rigid airship industry, crashed in rural southeastern Ohio, killing 14 men of the 43 on board. A young American naval aviator, Zachary Lansdowne, stood out as a trailblazer in the field. His grandson is retired U.S. Navy commander, Lanny Lansdowne Hunt. He was very, very fortunate in getting a set of orders to Germany uh, as the assistant naval attaché under uh, Commander Bull Halsey. The watch officer called the captain to the bridge when he noticed a large storm formation ahead. Lansdowne knew the Shenandoah could not navigate through the bad weather. The ship pitched and rolled as it maneuvered to dodge the storm. Unfortunately, when they turned uh, west again in the vicinity of uh, Ava, Ohio, uh, they, they went into the brunt of the squall. And uh, initially, from a cruising altitude of about 3,000 feet, uh, the, the shear forces took them up to 7,000 feet. At that point, uh, Lansdowne told uh, his chief engineer to go ahead and valve helium so that they could descend back down, at which he did. And then, of course, as luck would have it, they hit a down shear that propelled them down at a tremendous rate of descent. And so he, Lansdowne told the chief engineer to, to, to valve ballast, and so water went over the side, then making the ship lighter as it approached the ground, and again it shot up. And on its rise this second time, he told the rest of the officers in the control car that uh, anyone that wanted to leave could leave. And in fact, uh, Lieutenant Commander Rosendahl, who was not on watch at the time, uh, did go to what today would be called his general quarters post, which was up in the, uh, in, into the bag section of the dirigible. Just about the time uh, he reached the third or fourth rung on that ladder, he s reported later that he heard Commander Lansdowne say to the rest of the control car that we are going through together. And just about that time, the control car then ripped away from the rest of the ship in the fierce winds that ensued and in the shear, it, it, it broke. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a national tragedy. We hadn't had, up to that point, uh, a major accident with that number loss of life. I believe that, that this, at, at its time, this was the largest loss of life in any aviation accident.